हेलो वेलकम टू एस एस यूनिटेक सुशील दिस साइड एंड दिस इज कंटिन्यूएसन ऑफ सिक्वल क्विज फिफ्टी डेज चैलेंजेस सो वी आर इन डे फाइव एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी वन मोर इंटरेस्टिंग सिक्वल इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर सो हियर वी आर हैविंग वन ऑफ द इनपुट डेटा एंड दिस टेबल इज हैविंग टोटल फोर कॉलम्स लाइक कस्टमर आई डी कस्टमर नेम सेल डेट एंड अमाउंट and the in output we just want to have only three columns the first column will be sale date and then the total amount and after that the average amount so how we can get the sale date and total amount and average amount so we are required to write a query to get the month week wise total salary and average so let's assume for every month the week will be started from 1 so if any transaction has been happened between 1 to 7 it should be going to calculate on that week and we should be going to pick the max of that week so as we can see the max is 7 between 1 to 7 so here in the output in the sale date we should be seeing 7 similarly here we can see we have 9 and 10 only these two transactions happening in second week so in the output we have 10 so how we can write the logic for getting this output so here we have multiple ways by which we can achieve this output but i am going to write a very simple logic first we are required to write a case statement and on that case statement we are required to check the sale date if the sale date value is less than or equals to 7 then that will be week 1 if your sale date value is less than or equals to 14 then it will be your second week similarly if your sale date value is less or equals to 21st it should be third week similarly if 28 then that will be fourth week otherwise that will be fifth week so this logic we can write for calculating one more additional column here for the week number and once we will be getting the week number then we can simply take the max of this sale date and then we can take the sum of this amount and the third column will be your average amount So let me quickly go inside the SQL Server Management Studio and we'll try to write the query for getting this output. So here I have already written the script for creating the table. So let me try to execute and table has been created successfully. Let me try to insert the data on this table. So as we can see data has been inserted total 11 rows are available here. So the first thing that I told you we are required to one case statement here so on that case statement first we are required to check this sale date so first we should be going to extract the day part from this sale date if this value is less or equals to 7 then we can simply pass that as one hard code value in the second statement here we can simply write when your day value of this sale date is less or equals to 14 then this value should be 2 similarly the third condition we can write for getting the sale date day part here if this value is 21 then that should be third week and then we can write again for getting this sale date value if this value is less or equals to 28 then that should be your fourth week if all these conditions will not be satisfied at last we should be having 5 here we can write and and we can pass this as week now now let me try to execute this for checking this additional columns that we have added so here we can see if your date is less or equals to 7 then we are getting the same week number here if we can see the second week is started from 8 so between 8 to 10 it is coming as second week so this is what you can write for getting this output so once we are having this output let me put this into one of the ct and here and try to select so what we want to select here we are required to select the sale date the first column as sale date so we can simply get the sale date from this ct and this sale date we can take the max so this max we are simply taking because here we are doing this group by on this week now 
so here it is creating the partitions like it is having the first partition vietnam second is having the second partition so if we are taking the max of this partition it should be going to get the seven so in our output we are required to have the seven so that's why we are doing the partition by or the group by on this week num column that we have additionally created and then we are taking the max of this cell date here similarly we can also do the sum of this amount so this could be your total amount and the third column we can simply take the average of this amount column and let me call this as average amount now let me try to execute this query and we'll try to check the output of this so here we are getting the same output as we were expecting so the catch part is first we are required to create this additional column that is the week num and then after this week num should be going to use in the group by and creating the different partitions on the basis of this week num and then we are taking the max of the sale date sum of this amount and average of this amount so i hope guys you have understood how we can write this query for getting this output i'll provide this script on the description of this video so you can copy from there for your practice purpose and you can also comment your answers in the comment box so thank you so much see you in the next video